Yo, what up? What's going on? It's time. It's Gen Talk. We're talking about straight out of context. So we're getting ready on the grind tonight. I'm talking to you while the people are watching me live. We got people all in the room. It's going to be fun because we want to learn, grow, in community together. Let's do it. I want to welcome everybody for coming. Give yourselves a hand for being here. Gen Talks is what it is. It's the next generation having conversation. And that's why we set it up the way we set it up, because it's really about you. All we're doing is hosting your conversation. We call it grinding the group so that you can learn, grow, and achieve together. Everybody from everywhere around the country that's joining live, y'all are going to be with us tonight. So make sure you join into the conversation. What do you consider a blessing? What's actually a blessing? And how do you know it's from God? So we're going to talk about that right now. Me and Kanika are going to hit this live group. Y'all grind in your group. Let's go. We'll get blessed with something that, that has nothing to do with God. And we'll just call it a blessing just because it's in our favor. I know my own heart, right? Like, I know what I truly want to do even when it's outside of God's word. So when I'm going against myself and it's actually benefiting me, I feel like that's when the blessing comes. And what I know is from God is because, like, mentally it doesn't make sense how all of this stuff is coming together. But it's like, but it's God. Blessing has a transference component. So the blessing is never intended to stay with us. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's one way we can recognize. Is this a blessing or is this what I wanted? That's definitely true because God blesses you for the advancement of his kingdom. He blesses you for him. We think a blessing is the favor of God to us. No, it's the favor of God to you so that it may flow through you. Will God put more on you than you can bear? Why or why not? Yes, he does no, put me. more on us but than we can bear. We wouldn't grow. If you're, not, if you're not stretched in any kind of way, that means you don't grow. And God doesn't want you stagnant in anything that he's doing in your life. So, of course, he puts more on us than we can bear. Tammy DeCole 74 says, as people, we feel like it's more than we can bear. But as long as we stay close to him in prayer, we find that it becomes bearable. So when we say more than you can bear, what do we mean? Do we say more than you can bear... Alone, like more than you as a person. When you bear. just get to your I wits think it's end, I think. I think that's it right bear there. Because he knows us. When we are living through the power of the Holy Spirit, and not in fear, because I think that fear is part of what kind of breaks that. Because are we living in fear of ourselves or of other people? Or are we living in fear of God? And I think that that breaks uh, different perspectives. How do you know that you've heard from God? How do you know it's God talking and not you talking? If it brings you peace and if it glorifies him, it's God. Someone else said um, God provides confirmation either in his word or through the voice of someone else. And it should always align with his word and his promises to you. That's right. I think it went great. What I liked most about it was the safety. I felt like we were in group. We were able to give our opinions in a safe place. We were able to talk about biblical truth. I don't think anybody felt judged. I had fun. When is the next gen talk from here? I mean, come on. I mean, first time of the year, really, do the right? Mm. I need more. I need more gen talk. It was awesome. Conversations, the discussions, the Bible. It was awesome. Can't wait for the next one. Let's go generate. Listen, we got another gen talks in the bag. It's so exciting. We got almost 400 young adults here who were talking and we went live. So there were all these people that were joining in the conversation from all over the country. I wanna just thank everybody for the opportunity to be able to just lead this with my wife. It's so awesome. And we're gonna keep doing it. So stay tuned. It's all what it's all about, ministry. We're doing it for the Lord.